All right, the drama for today, if you want to call it drama. I've got a chisel deal that hooks up with a quick hitch. We used to use this chisel with our old Massey Ferguson. Uh, we had that tractor for 14 years or so. <clears throat> now that quick hitch setup fit that old quick hitch on the Massey. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit the new quick hitch on the uh, on the Challenger. I was thinking it would be a fairly easy fix. Just grind off. We're about half an inch off, so I was going to grind grind that off and move it over probably a, a whole inch, and then the same on that outer one, a whole inch, just so I've got quite a bit of. Play. Well, I might not do a whole inch. I might just do a, I might just do a half inch each side. Then it'll give me a quarter of an inch on each side. Then it'll give me a full half inch on each side. Um, I don't know. We'll play with it. I got to back up to it and really look at it. The thing is, the John Deere quick hitches are too narrow. The uh, Challenger Agco is too wide. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I can't use it with any of the any of the equipment I have right now, so something needs to be done. Uh, we'll figure something out. Because man, this goes all the way to the other side too. This plate goes from here, he's notched that out. Comes back through over here. So it's more than just grinding this off and moving it out of man. I could buy a new quick hitch, I guess. That's always a possibility. Like it is, this doesn't fit one tractor, it doesn't fit either tractor. So if I go ahead and do all this, I'd have to move this one to fit the John Deere setup and that one to fit the Challenger setup. But, ah, uh, man, I really don't want to blast all this off and because then I won't be, a lot of support comes from right here. I might just get a new quick hitch. Spend a, spend a, spend a little money on a quick hitch and leave this exactly the same way it is. Because if it doesn't fit this, there's bound to be something else that that doesn't fit. We just haven't used that yet. We've only had that tractor for, uh, I don't know, a year maybe. So there's a few things we haven't used yet. We don't use this very often. We only use it when we get a lot of rain and we need to bust the soil up to dry it out like we're doing right now. Man, look at that massive disc. Holy smokes. It's my weed, my weed getter. I hook it up to my little tractor and set guys out. It, gets, it mostly gets around on the side of the road. Killing weeds. Killing weeds. Whew, got a little cleanup to do. The barns are full. Well, we've got the, we ended up hooking up to the sunflower disc. And he's just running it very lightly. <clears throat> Instead of using this chisel plow. But uh, I have a feeling we're just, I'm just going to end up getting a new hitch man I don't I have no idea what those cost I haven't had to buy one I've never had to buy one we've all the quick hitches we've had came with equipment or we're already here so yeah I'm gonna have to call up the old Agco dealer salesman call the salesman I'll show you right here what the sunflower disc he's got it set very low it's only four inches deep or so so we're just busting this top soil up is all we are doing it's like a brownie you know in a brownie when you're done cooking a brownie and the top of it hardens over and there's still that nice moist soft ooh, brownie inside this is the exact same thing we get a rain. We've already land planed and done all uh, done the a lot of the work. All that's left is the lasering. 
which which stinks a little. It's good and bad. I mean, all the hell, a lot of work's done, but um, if if we lasered over this uh, soil with all the moisture, it'll really pack it in tight. And when we'll plant, we we would plant it. Oh, well, the seeds would have a very hard time. Well, the 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 roots would have a very hard time on those little seeds going through that hard packed soil. So um, that's why we're running this sunflower disc busting up the soil we're gonna let it dry out for another day and we might be able to start lasering tomorrow we'll see there's a field that didn't get as much rain and it's quite a bit steeper so the water didn't stand on it like this field so flat that um, that the water I mean when it rained that water just sat there so this field might be still be the last one we end up we end up lasering. The other field has different soil too. It's not quite as dark. It's a lighter soil, a little more uh, coarse, I guess. Uh, so that water probably didn't stand the same. So he'll do this field and we'll run over and do the other field because this field probably needs the most time. Yeah, I'll show you. Ooh. People ask about our rocks. It's about as bad as our rocks get out here. I probably got brought in with the manure anyways. I highly doubt it was here. You can see the color difference, the dry part, and it's a little darker in here. Yeah, this would pack in if we ran that laser on it. So, But he's gonna need to go over that other field where I need to run the uh, grader as well, so. We'll go from here to that field, run this. Hopefully I can be running the grader tomorrow or the next day. It's supposed to be pretty hot today, so as long as it, the sun gets on it, we should be good. All right, well, hope you learned something. Don't laser when the ground has moisture. That's the lesson. And though well, I guess the lesson is you need to open up the top soil, the top of that brownie to get. The oh man, I walked too far away. My phone disconnected. Get the top of that brownie busted up so you can dry that soil out. Well. If you have any comments, I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks, guys.